Uh, let me take care of this real quick. So much better. Guys, girls, all of you have been on a first day, I hope. So you know the pressures of having to impress someone the first time you gotta go out. <laughs> Ladies, you get your nails done, you get your hair did, you wear something that's casual that will accentuate your breastesis or your booty. Guys, when we go out on the first date, we go balls to the wall. We get a fresh haircut, we clip our fingernails, we scrub parts of our body that we don't even pay attention to, our belly button, behind the ears, we scrub our feet. We don't want to give the female any reason to not like it. And we do outrageous stuff like clean out the inside of our car and like we won't even do that for our mothers. We clean our house, which the girl's probably not even going to see that day. Maybe. Oh, and our outfit, women, ladies, us men will keep an outfit in our closet that we will not wear until it's the first day of school or the first time we're trying to impress a very special girl. And once we wear it, we feel like, you know, we've impressed the world and we won't wear it for another three months. Anyway, first date no-nos. Rule number one, please do not have bad breath. Once the other person has smelled the bad breath, it's like it's in your nose for the rest of the night, and that's what they're going to think about you the whole time. No tongue at you for you. Rule number two, don't ask any personal questions until you two are more comfortable around each other. Questions like, do you have both your parents? Do you shave down there? Is 15 minutes a quickie? Or is it too long? If you're going to ask those questions, she's just going to assume that you're just trying to smash. Pretty much everyone is if you're under the age of 25. But let's keep our minds focused for the friendship's sake. Rule three, do not text, do not text, do not text. That should have been rule number one. Whatever. The rudest, most disrespectful, narcissistic thing you can do while you're out on a date. If you're bored or if it's an awkward moment, why don't you ask your date if they know any jokes? Maybe you know a joke, why don't you tell them? If they don't know any jokes, Ask them how do they feel about President Obama. There's always something you can ask. You know, there's so many things to talk about. Just pick one. Rule number four. Don't ask your date how many sex partners they've had. Like the worst question in the entire world that you can ask. My date asking me that? Number one, it shouldn't matter. You're not on the list. Number two, if the number's too high, I'm a hoe. If the number's too low, I'm, I don't have any experience or I haven't done anything. I'm not up to your level. So either way, you see where this is going? Confusion. Kind of a lose-lose situation. You don't give them the right answer. And you know what I'm saying? And every female is different. Every dude is different. Get with it. Oh, well. Besides, everyone lies about their number anyway. To that note, do unto your date as you want your date to do unto you.